question that you're inevitably going to come and see more and more mm. is uh, going beyond the pill because mm -hmm. in these conversations with right. customers you're going to find all sorts of inadequacies mm -hmm. and you've been talking a lot about appropriateness. Right. So I'm interested in where you actually do draw that line because inevitably you are going to be providing far more than just medication here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and that's one of the things we're looking at now is, is, is how big of that gap do we want to fill as a pharma company? You know, we do have certainly a lot of knowledge around patient engagement and patient satisfaction and patient activation. In the U.S., we have the, the, the opportunity because we do direct to consumer, not so that, you know, we don't have the opportunity in Europe, but in the U.S. we do that. The customers don't actually like the way we do it. They see how well we can activate a patient. They don't like the way we can do it. So we've had discussions with customers around, can we actually come up with a joint message to actually deliver? You know, maybe it's around diagnosis or maybe it's around adherence, but something that, that the provider and the patient is actually going to get value out of and so is, 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 uh, is pharma. You know, another thing to think about is, is we have really in-depth knowledge around the diseases in our brands based on all the, the, the years and years of research. A lot of that isn't being provided by the representative because of the regulatory limitations. So can we use medical colleagues to actually go in and teach our customers, you know, even more around the disease overall and how our product may fit with others as well? And it goes back to appropriateness, right? Um, in the U.S. marketplace, we know generics are going to be first. And so, you know, where a brand does come along, we have to make sure that it's, you know, for the appropriate person because we understand the fiscal responsibilities they have.